been complaining a lot this week, Michelle, about the weather, but yesterday, not too bad. No, it wasn't bad. You know, our temperature is still running, though, Patrick, about 8, 9 degrees cooler than normal, and we're going to see more of that in the coming days. What I do see for next week is like we often talk about in New England, that flip where we go straight to summer. I'm seeing signs of a significant warm up by the end of next week with some of our computer models showing temperatures into the 80s. Well, that'll be a change today, though. You're going to have to uh, be patient. We're still going to see those times of clouds, sunshine, actually pretty good weather for working outdoors as the temperatures climb to the upper 50s to around 60 threat trackers in the green. No severe weather today or Friday. Do you think you'll still be able to get in those outdoor sporting events for Saturday morning, whether it's a soccer game, or baseball game as you head into Saturday afternoon and evening? We've got a higher chance of the rain impacting those outdoor activities. Looking at our hurricane barrier camera pointed at the highway, we do have some clouds overhead and we're seeing that in Newport too. So a little colorful sunrise coming up here at about 530 this morning. Newport, you're running in the upper 40s, 52 in Warwick right now. The temperature in Providence in the upper 40s and we're similar as you head into Cumberland, 48 degrees. We are still under the influence of low pressure aloft going to be continuing to spin in some clouds and the slight risk of a sprinkle. This high pressure area though will build down enough that it'll block the rainfall that you see moving across the Ohio Valley from pushing into New England. We'll get some of the cloud cover, but the shower should be shunted to the south. Wanted to show you the storm system that's developing for the weekend. This area of low pressure is going to head east, move out into the waters and then strengthen as it tries to pass near us in southern New England by Saturday night and Sunday morning. I'm going to walk you through that time frame, but today very similar to yesterday and the day before and the day before that clouds, some sunshine well, around 50 for the morning hours and afternoon highs climbing to near 60 by 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon with winds out of the northeast and east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. It'll cool down a little more quickly this evening. I'm expecting lows by 9, 10 o'clock or temperatures by 9, 10 o'clock to be into the 40s and we'll drop to about 45 overnight. So here's our storm system for Saturday. Most of the rain prior to 2 o'clock stays off to our south and west, 2 in the afternoon that is. And then as the afternoon goes on, that rain pushes in. So the evening and nighttime hours of Saturday do look rainy. Quite a stormy start to Mother's Day. Could be some heavy rainfall at times. The heaviest of the rain lifts to the north and east by Sunday afternoon, but there'll still be some lingering showers into Sunday night. This is the European models take on how much rainfall we could see during the weekend. So this is from Saturday morning into Sunday evening, looking at more than an inch of rain. And I think that's a conservative number. I have our rainfall totals between one and three inches. Heaviest of it falling Saturday night into Sunday morning. Could see some localized street flooding. We're also going to see some gusty northeast winds with this nor'easter at about 30 to 40 miles per hour along the coastline. Seven day future cast. We get through the weekend storm and it does look like it lingers into Monday with at least a few showers. After that, we start to turn up those temperatures 60s, upper 60s Tuesday, Wednesday in the 70s, and again beyond that, we could see some 80s. Full future cast always available on your mobile device, the Pinpoint Weather app. 